I'm David Pogue, and welcome to another weekly video. This week it's about HD radio. Now, if you're wondering what HD radio is, <laughs> well, welcome to the rest of the world. No one knows what it is. See, in 2001, the AM-FM radio industry was a little worried about the arrival of the satellite radio industry, which was promising to have hundreds of stations. All the music stations are ad-free, same clear, static-free reception, coast-to-coast. -coast. They were a little freaked out. So they said, we can fight technology with technology. We'll come up with this thing called HD radio. Okay, now you know. Roll the tape. Hello, I'm David Pogue, and we've just learned that the 1,000th multicast HD radio station in America has just come online. I'm going to go to the streets now to gauge the public's reaction. The 1,000th what? The what has just what? What kind of radio? Clearly, the greatest obstacle to the public's acceptance of HD radio is confusion. Just ask the average person what HD radio even is. No clue, sorry. Is it like satellite radio? Well, I know that HD stands for high definition. Oh, HD radio, yeah, yeah, I know. That's where they take the, um, it's where you have, um, I have no idea. What is it? Pretty amazing for a technology that's been around for four years and has been marketed up the wazoo. Okay, I'll explain it. There are now 2,000 stations broadcasting in HD, which gives you better sound. AM stations sound like FM, and FM stations sound like a CD. It's a little pointless for me to try to demonstrate the difference in sound over the TV, but here, we'll fake it. This is regular AM, and this is HD radio AM. Yeah, yeah, I heard it, I heard it. Me too. The coolest thing is a trick called multicasting. 1,000 of these radio stations are taking advantage of it. That's where they send out a second or a third channel on the same FM frequency. So I might tune in the main channel like this, and then if I hit the up button, I'll hear a different broadcast entirely produced by the same station, and usually with no ads. I like my iPod. Well, these models can play your iPod's music too. And if you hear a cool song on the radio, you press this tag button. Later, that song tag shows up in iTunes, so you can buy the song if you really love it. So what is it, like satellite radio? No, no, it's not satellite. Satellite costs 13 bucks a month. HD broadcasts are free. But you do have to buy an HD radio. There are 100 different models. Tabletop models like these are 75 bucks and up. Can I get one for my car? Yes, you can, either as an add-on or built into models from these 13 car companies. So it's like satellite, except free. Free satellite radio, woo! No, 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 it's not like satellite. It's not 300 stations. It's like a dozen, depending on where you live. And it's not the same stations everywhere you go in the country. HD radio is still local. I'm fine with my iPod. You know what? I just like internet radio. I get thousands of stations, and it's all free. And there you have it, folks, the state of HD radio today. It offers some very cool features. It's free, but it faces stiff competition from other audio sources, and it still really hasn't taken off. And one more thing. So it's HD radio because it plays on my HD TV. It makes AM sound like FM and FM sound like AM, right? So multicasting means I hear three FM stations playing at once. The channels are free, but I have to buy the satellites? It confuses the public. David Pogue reporting live.